couple of minutes or so. Yeah, that's right, Felicity. We were seeing tear gas in the vicinity of the Interior Ministry building, but just in the last 15 minutes, we've seen the police go right up to the outskirts of the square and fire into the square. So we're talking about rounds and rounds of tear gas canisters uh, being fired into the square where thousands of people were gathered peacefully protesting. And they've managed, in fact, now to um, clear about half of the square, that, that half that was closest to the Interior Ministry building building, but uh, it's quite intoxicating. There's a lot of gas still around. And some people had already indeed left the square. It's not as full as it was before. That's right, but there were still um, a good few thousand there demonstrating uh, against Mohammed Morsi. Their chants were getting ever louder, saying Irhal go, uh, calling him illegitimate, calling uh, on the, the fall of the, what they're calling his regime. Uh, and so people were getting increasingly angry, and there were several thousand people still in the square when the gas was being fired. What about, what about the people who are in the, in the way of the tear gas? Have they fled or are they planning to stay from what you can see from where you are? I know you were affected by the gas yourself. Yes, that's right. I mean, anyone who was near it had to, had to run. Uh, we already know that over 250 people have been injured throughout the course of the day. I expect that number to rise significantly because of what just happened um, a few minutes ago with all of this gas. And we should also say that the situation in another city, Suez, is getting very serious indeed. The, um, the city council building was stormed by protesters, and, and we're hearing that police are reacting to that right now. There are reports that are unconfirmed by the health ministry but reports that at least one person has been killed in Suez so certainly the violence taking a turn for the worse in the last hour or so. Shireen Tadros thanks very much indeed and as we stay on this pictures of Tahrir Square I can confirm what Shireen was saying that uh, one of our freelance reporters has confirmed the death of a protester in Suez a 15 year old boy apparently has died in those clashes between the protesters and security forces we'll update you on that of course as soon as we have more details. French and African troops.